They got a bathroom on this boat? Okay, it's happening. All right, if you know, you know. <gasps> <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be watching you, episode eight. Now, in the last episode, Joe and Beck, they broke up. They broke up, they split in the last episode. <sighs> okay, now I'm curious to know whether or not Joe is actually gonna leave Beck alone. I don't think he is. I think he's still gonna be like stalking her and stuff, seeing what she's doing and everything. But then at the end of the last episode, he met someone, he met one of Claudia's friends you know, Claudia's his neighbor. And so when he was going home, they started talking and then they hooked up. So is he about to start just stalking her and like being obsessed with her now? Like, is he gonna like completely forget about Beck or what? Like what's gonna happen with that? I think he'll still be a little bit invested in Beck, but he'll be able to kind of not really focus on her too much. And he'll, he'll focus more on this new girl. So that's my guess. <laughs> um, but then again, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if Joe, takes this new girl out on a date purposely to the same place he knows Beck is gonna be at just so he could just so Beck could see them on a date be, so she'll be like oh my god he's already seeing people that quickly you know I don't know something like that so but anyways I'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon so let's get started it's been three months since I lost you, Beck, and it won't. Damn. I'm with Karen Minty. Okay, he's with her now. Okay. Holy shit. I'm happy. She's happy. Okay. She seems like a good fit. For, she seems like a good fit for Joe. The truth is, Beck. I <laughs> yeah, he's still looking her up. Not since Karen. And you, you're doing great. I hardly look at your Facebook two or three times a day, Max. <laughs> I don't go by your place. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, mess. Oh, not my router. What about research? <gasps> I feel like she needs the router. Hey, how is Joe? Oh, I was, I was just curious if he was still with. Is it Karen? What's her last name? Again? Oh, Beck's curious. Hmm. With Brad, I don't have to clean up any messes. There are no messes. He knows who he is, which means mm -hmm. I don't have to drive myself crazy watching his back. Karen doesn't expose me to toxic people like Benji or Peach dealing. So Joe's gonna get bored. I don't know, maybe. I still do need to know if you're okay. I'm happy. I want you to be happy. It's what happy people want for people. What? Oh, yeah. Well, she did. So she deleted her actual page, not just the app. Okay, okay. How the hell am I supposed to be great with you being gone if you're actually gone? Oh my god, Joe. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, Beck's gonna get jealous. Book deal because of me, because let's face it, Peach died. And that's just not something you would have done if she were alive. I'm <laughs> trying to get the credit. But I'm not sure I can be happy if I don't know you're happy. Bro, so you're not over Beck, like. <laughs> this is on you, Beck. You put Blythe and Ethan together Yo. and you left me to deal with them. It's true. So Blythe is gonna be the middleman for Joe and Beck now. You know? I would go to Paris. Hmm. And you know, you know, see the fact that he's not over Beck and what Ethan just said, it's going to make him doubt if he likes Karen or not, you know, like Karen obviously likes Joe. She, she obviously likes him a lot, but I don't, but the fact that Joe's not over Beck, Joe's not, Joe's not able to, Joe's not able to fully embrace Karen since he's still not over Beck. So. At least now we know she's on something. I'm sorry. I ruined dinner. Serves me right for trying. That was not your fault. You are so good. You too, babe. Babe. He's trying so hard. Like, he did not mean that. For me, it's like just how present he is, you know? Ah. It speaks volumes about his heart. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, this wasn't planned. I said this was gonna happen, but it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. This is random. Right, this is your hood. Oh, Beck's the one who came. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's like a quick. Uh, I mean, she was curious to know. Walk around the block. You live near here? No, I just, I, I like it around here. Yeah, she came here on purpose. Yeah. This is awkward. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's mm -hmm. uh, walk safe. Back. Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's jealous. Mm, she, dude, she did a double take. Oh, you. Well, take a look, babe. This is me, living without you. I don't need you. Mmm. Joe doesn't mean that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 she did not. I'm with Karen, uh, and you're right, she is nice. I should ignore you. I will. Mm-hmm. No, again. Read receipt, gotcha. Sigh. Not talking, just texting. How much? Uh, a couple times. It's funny because Dr. Nikki, John Stamos, has no idea that's Joe. <laughs> that they're talking about. He has no idea they're talking about each other. He's going to like realize that the situations are going to match. He's going to like, they're going to connect to each other. Even though Joe's using aliases, you know, with his name and his partner's names. It's gonna, it's gonna click for Dr. Nikki. But like legally, I don't think he could say anything to them. But if Beck's situation matches up exactly with Ronaldo's situation Joe's talking about, I think that's pretty obvious. So do you want to see my potential author photos? No. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Beck. I see what you're, I, I see what you're doing. And Joe, turn your goddamn red, uh, Red receipts off. Like, come on, turn those off. I oh have my an open fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, yeah, okay. Talk to him tomorrow. No, dude. Sounds to me like you're flirting. I'm not flirting with. He's with the wrong girl. I mean, his new girlfriend. She's. Mm. She puts stickers on pictures. And they've been together. What, and what's wrong with that? If it's all bachelorette parties and fortune cookies and and blood. Blood drives. What if Joe likes those things? <laughs> They're not Joe things. Oh my god. Last week, I was happy. Mm -hmm. This week, I'm comparing everything. I can. I, Cause you, you, oh, you still have feelings for Beck. I'm the mouse? Mm. Well, I'm not one of those people who would ever kill a mouse. <laughs> okay, so as the mouse, I'm just supposed to walk away, leave the alleged. Bro, he knows. He knows. Doctor Nikki has to know. Just stop texting. Yes. That is good for me. But what if I know for a fact this man wants this mouse? No. <laughs> How do people catch mice? <laughs> in a trap. And if you're gonna trap him. Guys fell apart. Is because he made you feel trapped. Oh come. Mm. Mm. Make new friends. Hey. Oh no. <sighs> okay. And suddenly I miss texting because you in the actual room. Oh my god. Is Karen here? She's working. Mm. Dude, Beck literally just wants a Joe because he has a new girlfriend. Like that's that's literally it. <laughs> She literally just wants Joe because she can't have him. If Karen were to catch him and then leave Joe, Beck would probably stay for like a minute and then leave too. Be like, oh, I got him. Okay, cool. I, I, could not, not like a literal minute, but like, you know what I mean. Which means you noticed I was off. Mm. Ugh, she's completely out of it. Hand me that blood pressure cuff. What is this? This is just like Peach and Beck, but this, I feel like this is actually real for Claudia. This is actually real. Addiction is a monster. It doesn't care if you're a good nurse, a good mother. I don't want Paco to see this. And do you get claustrophobic easily? Hmm. Oh, he's gonna put it in the bookstore? What? Oh, yep, okay. I mean, it's thoughtful, but it's kind of weird. Uh-oh. She's waking up in a cage. Mm hmm That's not good. That's not good. I would freak out too. Yeah. NG freaked out. Yeah. Anyone would. And he died in this cage. I killed him. Karen's got this. Claudia's not gonna die in this cage like Benji. Ben yeah, Joe's freaking out. No. The guilt's hitting him. The guilt is finally hitting him. Really just like their version of Six Flags. Are you telling the truth? <laughs> I thought I was sleeping there. Ah, you get to bed. 
I do. Thanks, Joe. Thank yeah, the bed where I fuck your mom's friend. <laughs> you know she loves you. She always says love is what really makes a family. Oh, if that's true, then you can count me and Karen, too. Aww. He's back. Who's he? What, is she okay? She thinks his place is on. Well, can she, like, see the demons inside of Joe? Hi, Ron. Can I help you? Oh, it's Ron. Dude, fuck off. Get out of here, Ron. I'm looking for Claudia. I don't know where she is. But you know where she is. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. He's testing me. Yeah. I don't. Well, it's not like her not to text me back. She moved on, bro. Sorry. She she told me that you two broke up. <sighs> is that what she said? Not quite self-defense. No oh. Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. I'd say he wouldn't deserve it. Yeah. I'll mention that you swung by when I see her, if you'd like. Thank you. You do that. Yeah, bro, you ain't doing shit, Ron. You ain't beating my ass again right here. Hey, can I steal you for an hour tomorrow, maybe rent your brain? No. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. I won't. It's a date. I have self-control. No, you don't. <laughs> what could happen on the upper deck of an immensely popular tourist destination? Oh, I fucking wonder what could possibly happen. They got a bathroom on this boat? Okay, it's happening, all right? If you know, you know. Back. The fresh air helps. Yeah, we're like the only two people on this boat, except for us. Oh, Pog is stay night. Friends out so you can rest. I have to take care of number one. Okay. The only other person on this boat is the goddamn captain, okay? <laughs> Driving it. Karen is good. I need to be good. Yes, you do. What do you think I'm thinking right now? Please move further away. I think I know what you're doing. They're gonna kiss, dude. And then, oh my god. Move closer. I think mm. you're thinking what I'm thinking. No. We are not doing this, Beck. No, 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 no. God damn it. Bro, they're just gonna do it right here? Like. Oh, they are. Oh my God! Wow, bro. What if a waitress came out being like giving, like, giving them drinks? You know, be like, oh, do you guys want anything to drink? Uh, you know, like, come on. Oh, there's hella people on here. <laughs> Wait, did they just use a different shot? <laughs> like, there's hella people on that boat in that shot. Well, that was a mistake. Never again. Ever. Yeah, never again. Ever. Dude, they're gonna be fucking all the time in secret and oh i wonder what yeah never again dude i know that look i know that look on his face why else would you just be standing around there standing like that just you know this is fucked up dude this is so fucked up i feel so bad for karen you make me weak beck my neighbors are gonna hate me paco Mm, yeah, yeah. She's coming home as soon as she can. She didn't say goodbye. She always says goodbye. Yeah, he knows something's wrong. I didn't know you were coming back tonight. Where's Paco? I mean, show. Oh, he's gonna show him. Mom. Baby. It's okay, Mom. You have to get better. This is it. I'm gonna change. Change for Paco. I need, I need it's the one. ultimate motivation. Get my shit together, and then I'm, I'm going home. You know, all yours, me. It's okay. Oh, She's a little out there and Ethan's a talker. I wouldn't be offended if it's not your scene. I want to go. I'm burnt out. Isn't that Beck? Mm-hmm. Beck and a bottle of booze. What could go wrong? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think Karen's gonna find... Like, based on this conversation... Well, I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious already, but, like, Karen's gonna know that Beck's lost feelings for Joe. Fills up when I see him with Paco. Most guys don't give a shit, but... And it's gonna make Beck want him even more. ...anything for someone he loves. I'm so happy for you guys. Will you, uh... Excuse me. Yeah, that was... That tells Karen right there. I'm sorry about earlier. Stop. Do you think either of us can stop? What we're doing is wrong. Wow, you fucking think? You are so good for me. I mean, you helped me so much. 
everything. But? But I am no good for you. And I'm jealous. And I mm. shut down after Peach died and I hadn't pushed mm. you away, but how scared I was to need you. But... This is, this is what Jill wanted. So he's he would leave Karen like that for Beck. With someone who's perfect for you. You're right. And he, it's her, like... Like that's what he, that's his rationale. He thinks that someone who's perfect for him is her when it's Karen. Please. Karen is... You're right, Beck. Karen is good for me. And we just saved someone's life together. That alone should tell me I'm in the right place. Mm-hmm. Karen is perfect. It's over. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Team, I see that. I just, there's something missing. Yeah, it's. <sighs> oh, she's gonna slap me. My curling iron. No? Okay. Yeah, no, she's, she's a rational person. She's not gonna do anything like that. We're adults. It happens. I'm not stupid, okay? I knew something was off. Now she's gonna slap me. No. She's not, yeah, see? That's it. I respect that a lot. Of course she takes the high road. Mm -hmm. She knew all along. Yes. Karen and I don't see the world the same way. But you? Oh my god, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's running to her? <laughs> Dog. That moment in the movie, this is when I run through the Dude, I, I hope he's just fucking someone else. And he, you know, when he comes in, when he's gonna look through this window. Dude, you're, this is not real. This is not real. This is not. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I just, I meant that. I meant that. What the hell, Joe? I was thinking about what you said at the party. You're pushing me away because you think it's the right mm. thing. It is. It's to be with who you should be with. Then if it's messy, you make it work because you know you belong together. And I know we belong together. You tell me. Dude, <laughs> watch him just back up more and get hit by a car. <laughs> reject them. Reject them. Yes. Well, that didn't last very long. Their breakup, that oh, well, three months technically, but one episode, half an episode. What are you gonna do next? Torch the place the next time we have a fight? <laughs> you might. I want to stab you to death and play around with your blood. She's not gonna let you in, man. You don't know what she's been through. I heard you helped. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Never Ron's fault. You can't be serious. I can't do this alone. Oh, you're not alone. I mean, is Joe gonna help pay her bills? No. I mean, at least Ron probably helps with that and stuff. I mean, it's all fucked up. Right. Addiction is a monster. Like, Ron is not good for Claudia. You at lied all. to me. Oh my god. I didn't lie. You said things would get better. You said I had you and Karen. You do. Just because we're. Karen's apart. gone! Mm hmm. She She's switching jobs. She's mad at my mom for Ron, and we're never gonna see her again. Damn. You say you wanna help, but you can't. Can you, Joe? Everything is worse. Damn, yeah, I probably didn't think that. He didn't think about that one. Because why would Karen stay? You know, her she, her apartment would be right next to Joe's. Oh, shit. I won't keep you. I just had to say thank you. Yeah, thanks for getting rid of Joe for me. I owe you. Yeah, she dodged mm -hmm. the bullet with Joe. Turns out you're my get out of Joe free card. You showed me who he really is. And that is. Besides a liar and a cheater. Mm-hmm. Just be careful. I got a feeling you know Candace. Oh, how did she? <laughs> I couldn't fill in the X shoes either. Whoever this girl is, she still got her claws in him. Mm-hmm. Of course, you gotta know what he did to me. One of these days, he's gonna do to you. What? Oh, leave her just right? Yeah. Maybe he'll do whatever the hell he did to Candace. Hmm. Enjoy it while it lasts, Beck. You know, that might have been on a spite, but there was a lot of truth to that. God, well, yeah, now Candace is gonna be like second guessing Joe and everything. <sighs> All right, well, that was episode eight. All right, so I think, okay, first of all, first of all, I think what Beck did was pretty messed up, honestly. Like, she just wanted Joe because 
he's in a happy relationship now but back and but back went after him anyways like that back come on he like guys like what i like like what i said a couple episodes ago you want what you can't have and that's what happened here so and, and Joe still had feelings for her, so it, obviously he took the bait. I mean, okay, at the same time, I know what it's like to end things with one person that you still had, like, you had great feelings for, and then time goes on, but you still kind of, like, those feelings, they've been suppressed, but they haven't been suppressed all the way. And so, like, you're talking to new people, you're meeting new people, but you're still kind of thinking about the last person, you know? That's, I, that's pretty normal, I feel like. But I, okay, personally, I would not jump into a, a relationship with a brand new person if I still, if I know I still have feelings for the last person. Like, just dating somebody to get over somebody else, in my opinion, is not a good strategy. Yeah, I think you need time to yourself th for that, you know? And that Joe got into a relationship with Karen that lasted three months. And honestly, when Joe said it's over, I respect Karen for handling it the way she did. I have a lot of respect for her. It's not easy just being like, okay, that's okay. And then just, you know, getting all her belongings and then leaving in a calm, cool, collected fashion like that. That's a lot of respect. It's not easy to do. She didn't overreact. She just said, okay, cool, I get it. And plus like she knew something was off anyway with with Joe, like it's pretty obvious, you know? Like I'm sure Joe and Karen were pretty good up until they ran into Beck early, you know, in the episode. And then, you know, things got a little bit weird. That's when Joe started being like, shit, I still really like her. Like, he was still keeping up with her and stuff, which is pretty weird, honestly. I think you should, like, you should probably just cut them out of your life completely, you know? But I, I do kind of get it where it's like, you're not talking to them anymore, but doesn't mean you hate them. And you, you know, you're still kind of curious to see like what they're doing and like, kind of curious to see if they're doing well at least you know like things ended between me and this other person and and i didn't unfollow them on anything i still kept them you know if they wanted to remove me i was totally okay with that but but since things ended in a diplomatic way to where you know no like no one's feelings were really hurt it was like it was respectable the way it ended so i was like okay but we don't hate each other we're, we don't dislike each other or anything we're just we're neutral about each other now you know it's just because you cared so much for this person at one point you know you don't want them to be doing bad so it's like if you're just browsing instagram and you see that they're doing well then like that's gonna make you happy because you still want them to be you still want them to be happy in their life you know does it now i feel like the difference is though i didn't go out of my way to like see what they're doing it just naturally showed up on my feed so i'm like oh okay oh they're doing this good for them you know just stuff like that so but then like joe he went out of his way to like look up that two to three times a day because he's not over her and he's obsessive about everything like extremely obsessive and he has no self-control like that's the difference so yeah it was pretty obvious that if beck came back into his life he was gonna fold he was gonna fold like a goddamn lawn chair and he did it was not hard for beck at all to to get him back it was not hard for her at all and it's like it's fucked up that beck got joe to cheat on karen with her because just because she wanted him back like mm, that, that kind of makes me mad honestly like that that's a huge red flag like why would you want beck if she's gonna do that you know like it's fucked up on joe too like joe you need to have better self-control than that like come on see that's why you shouldn't jump into a, a relationship with somebody pretty quick after breaking up with the last person after breaking up with somebody else pretty quickly like that because you're still gonna have feelings for them and if they hit you up or anything you're going to go back to them because it's more comfortable it's more familiar but yeah then at the end right there it seemed like karen realized she dodged a, a fat bullet right there so it seems like joe told her about candace i don't think he ever really told beck about candace like, i know he mentioned her to i know he mentioned candace to beck like once but he didn't like go in depth on like what happened or anything and like yeah karen saying like or oh, you might end up like her like candace who knows what he did to her but i think he killed her dog like bro like did he cut her up and put her in a box and dump her in the ocean like dexter like what did he do to her i think i 100 percent think he killed her i just i just want to know like how he killed her like you know they better show us in this season like how it happened or, or i'm gonna be pretty annoyed because i want to know how that happened i want to know what happened between him and candace so I think even if Karen didn't tell Beck anything, Beck probably would have lost feelings for him pretty quick. Not quickly, but eventually again, because like, is it, this just re-sparked the honeymoon phase. This is, this is all it did. They're back in their honeymoon phase and that's not going to last forever. It's going to, it's peaked right now. 
and then it's gonna go down. Now, the fact that Karen said what she said at the back made that kind of be like, ooh, yeah, she might be right about that one, you know? So, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. So now what I think is gonna happen is that downfall that's gonna happen it's just gonna happen sooner now. So Beck's gonna distance herself from Joe like sooner. And then Joe's gonna be like, Joe's gonna be so confused. Joe's gonna be like, why are you doing this? And then he's gonna go psycho or whatever. And then Beck's gonna see him go psycho. And then she's gonna just be like, I don't like you anymore. And then, and then she's just gonna wanna get away from him again. So it's just gonna be a cycle, dude. But anyways, that was you, episode eight. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.